SpaceX operates differently from most companies in the aerospace industry. While others might take a break after a major rocket launch, SpaceX is always preparing for the next mission, and sometimes even the next three. For example, when they launched Flight 7 of Starship, they had already completed critical tests on the booster for Flight 8. Now, with Flight 8 nearing its launch, we're going to cover all the latest updates in today's video. The expected launch date, the preparations so far, and what this next test flight means for the Starship program. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all SpaceX news and their groundbreaking achievements. Let's jump in. As of January 25, 2025, SpaceX is preparing for its eighth Starship test flight, which follows the seventh test conducted on January 16, 2025. The next launch is expected to take place in February 2025, depending on final preparations and regulatory approvals. The flight path for Flight 8 is likely to follow a similar trajectory to previous tests. The launch will take place from SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, and the Starship is expected to splash down in the Indian Ocean. The mission will include a high-altitude ascent, followed by stage separation and re-entry. Flight 8 will be similar to Flight 7 in many ways since both are part of SpaceX's ongoing efforts to refine the Starship system. Both flights aim to evaluate the vehicle's performance during various stages, such as liftoff, stage separation, and atmospheric re-entry. They also use the same two-stage system, with the Super Heavy booster handling the initial ascent and the Starship upper stage conducting the rest of the flight. Both tests focus on improving the reliability of the heat shield and the performance of the Raptor engines. Flight 7 experienced issues approximately eight minutes into the mission. SpaceX lost contact with the vehicle, and initial findings point to an oxygen or fuel leak in the engine area, which caused a fire. This fire led to a pressure buildup that exceeded the venting system's capacity, ultimately resulting in the vehicle's destruction over the Caribbean. The FAA has required an investigation into this incident, grounding Starship flights until SpaceX addresses the issues and implements corrective actions. To prevent the same problems in Flight 8, SpaceX has been working on several solutions. Engineers are inspecting and upgrading the systems to eliminate potential oxygen or fuel leaks. They are also installing fire suppression systems in the engine area to quickly extinguish fires if they occur. Additionally, the venting system in the engine compartment is being redesigned to handle higher pressures, ensuring that any leaks won't lead to a catastrophic failure. As we all know, the Starship system comprises two primary components, the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship spacecraft. The Super Heavy Booster stands approximately 70 meters tall and is powered by 33 Raptor engines, while the Starship spacecraft measures about 50 meters in height and is equipped with six Raptor engines. Both stages are designed for full reusability to reduce launch costs. Prior to integration, each component undergoes rigorous testing. Cryogenic proof tests are conducted to validate the structural integrity of the tanks under extreme cold and pressure conditions. For instance, Booster 14 and Ship 33, used in the seventh test flight, completed cryogenic testing in October 2024. Following these tests, static fire tests are performed, where engines are ignited while the vehicle remains secured to the ground. Booster 14 successfully completed a static fire test in early December 2024. After individual testing, the Super Heavy Booster and Starship spacecraft are integrated into a fully stacked configuration. The integrated vehicle then undergoes a wet dress rehearsal, a comprehensive test that involves loading the rocket with propellants and simulating a full launch countdown without engine ignition. A wet dress rehearsal was successfully conducted for the Flight 7 vehicle on January 10, 2025. In preparation for the eighth test flight, SpaceX is likely following a similar protocol, with the new prototypes undergoing cryogenic proof tests, static fire tests, and wet dress rehearsals to ensure all systems are functioning as intended. As of January 2025, SpaceX has conducted seven Starship test flights, each providing valuable data to inform future designs. The most recent, Flight 7, took place on January 16, 2025. 
The vehicle, comprising Booster 14 and Ship 33, lifted off successfully from SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas. Approximately eight minutes into the flight, at an altitude of 143 kilometers, the vehicle experienced an anomaly that led to its destruction. Debris from the vehicle fell over the Caribbean, prompting the diversion of several commercial flights in the area. The exact cause of the anomaly is under investigation, but preliminary reports suggest a possible oxygen or fuel leak leading to a fire. The company plans to conduct at least 25 test flights in 2025, with the goal of achieving a fully successful orbital flight and recovery. Each test is designed to build upon the lessons learned from previous flights. The Raptor engines have been upgraded to improve efficiency and reliability for the next flight. The Raptor engines use a full-flow-staged combustion cycle, a design that offers higher efficiency compared to traditional rocket engines. Each Raptor engine is capable of producing approximately 2 meganewtons of thrust, contributing to the Super Heavy Booster's total thrust of about 66 meganewtons at liftoff. The choice of stainless steel for the vehicle's construction provides a balance between strength, durability, and cost. Stainless steel can withstand the extreme temperatures encountered during re-entry without the need for extensive thermal protection systems. A key objective of the Starship program is full reusability. The Super Heavy Booster is designed to return to the launch site and be caught by mechanical arms on the launch tower, a system SpaceX refers to as Mechazilla. This method was successfully demonstrated during the fifth test flight in October 2024, where the booster was caught by the launch tower's arms upon return. SpaceX's ambitious testing schedule necessitates close coordination with regulatory bodies, particularly the Federal Aviation Administration. Each test flight requires a launch license, which is contingent upon meeting specific safety and environmental criteria. Following the anomaly during Flight 7, the FAA will conduct a thorough investigation to determine the cause and to assess any potential safety or environmental impacts. Depending on the findings, this could influence the timeline for subsequent test flights. SpaceX has previously experienced delays due to regulatory reviews, but the company continues to work closely with the FAA to address any concerns and to ensure compliance with all necessary regulations. Meanwhile, Blue Origin is making headlines by breaking away from its reputation for slow progress and delays. On January 16, 2025, the company surprised the space industry with the successful orbital launch of its new Glenn rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida. The massive 320-foot-tall rocket named in honor of astronaut John Glenn deployed the Blue Ring Pathfinder prototype satellite into medium Earth orbit just 13 minutes after liftoff. This marks a significant milestone for Blue Origin as it enters the competitive orbital launch market. The mission wasn't without its challenges. While the primary goal of reaching orbit was achieved, the reusable first-stage booster, powered by seven BE-4 engines, failed to land successfully on the drone ship during its descent and was lost. Future launches will focus on perfecting booster recovery to meet the vehicle's goal of being reusable up to 25 times. Looking ahead, Blue Origin is planning an ambitious launch schedule for 2025, with six to eight New Glenn missions already on the calendar. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching.